So happy Monday, you guys. Um, once again, another inspiration Zoom that I absolutely love doing after Mindset because they're always fire. They're always amazing. They're already like Mondays, everyone thinks, oh, it's a dragging day. Mondays I look forward to because Mindset is gonna keep the momentum going. And what better way to um, just keep the momentum going then hearing from other people that are on this journey with us um, that can inspire us, light our fire. Um, when we think that um, what we're doing is, you know, it's like, I feel stuck or I feel like what I'm doing isn't paying off or whatever the thoughts you have may be. Um, just hearing how someone else is working this business, how they're working it in their schedule. And tonight we have an amazing, amazing, amazing um, guest speaker. And he is going to share some golden nuggets, I'm sure. Um, we had him requested by a few people because he spits fire and is just inspirational. He loves to uplift people. And I thought, like, what better way? Another thing is, is hearing from a man on our team. Um, absolutely. Toby is tonight. And I'm so honored to have him on here. Um, I want to tell him thank you so much for taking the time out of his evening and busy schedule for um, just deciding to help pour into us. So Toby, I'm going to give you the floor and we are ready to be inspired. What's going on, guys? Happy Monday. I hope everybody is, is doing well and y'all had a, uh, a great day. That mindset uh, Zoom was, was off the chain, right? <laughs> I, I think I said in the chat, so it was the confidence for me. Because Miss Rachel, you went off, babe. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that right now. Great job, great job. So mm -hmm. listen, I wanted to get into a um, a couple things tonight um, about um, being authentic and 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 being consistent, right? Uh, there are there are a lot of different ways that that we can be uh, uh, authentic, and, and we all know that we start with a baseline of things. You know, some of us are new, and we start with a baseline of ideas of how to actually get things going and get things running uh, in our businesses, and, and, and that's good. But the, the thing about it is you don't want to particularly stay there. You want to evolve from those particular ideas and things that, that um, that Courtney and, and, and Tracy and Haley uh, put out, they're just getting you started, right? They're just getting you going. It, it's, it's, it's like putting the key in the ignition. And well, nowadays it's a push start, but uh, you put the key in the ignition and you, and you start your motors and, and you're on your, on your way, right? So uh, I want to encourage you to be able to think outside uh, of the box and, and be your authentic self. Right, because uh, one thing that, that I noticed um, uh, across social medias is that people can, number one, they can smell fear, and number <laughs> two, they can smell when you're being fake, right? And, and they will shun you, and some of them will be trolls in your inbox telling you you ain't about nothing, you're talking crazy, your products don't work, um, you're just sh uh, scamming people and all that good stuff like that, man, you, you just got to forget about all that, th all that stuff and be authentic, right? There is a particular brand that is out there for you. There's a particular niche, right? That people want uh, you to, that want to buy into uh, um, not only uh, your product, but you, because the number one thing that you have to remember is, is, is that people are going to buy into you before they buy into your product. Right. And, and of the consistency that you see uh, that they see out on these social media platforms is what's going to get their attention. There are a lot of different apps that you can uh, use to be creative and, and put out uh, um, your own uh, content. I know some of us post a lot of uh, memes and, and stuff, but uh, in, in, in to, 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 to be able to create something that is authentically yours right that, that that it sets you apart from <clears throat> from the uh, the pack now listen we are all selling the the the, the same product right we're all selling the the same dream but we don't all have to sell it the uh the 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 same way 
uh, if I can, I, if I can say it like that. We don't all have to say, sell it the same way because there is something about you and the way that you do things and the way that you talk uh, and the way that you present your life that people are going to um, uh, want to uh, follow you, right? And, and, and listen to the things that, that you have to say, right? And so one of the things that I would implore you to do is explore. Right, explore the different uh, social media platforms. Right, don't be afraid of, of, of the social media uh, platforms at all. Right, because I was absolutely afraid of doing anything on Instagram. Right, and then here comes uh, TikTok, and, and then I listened to a lot of um, uh, MLM uh, um, leaders, uh, seven figure type people that talk about the reels and, and stuff like that. And I was definitely afraid to do all of that stuff. I would implore you to live in your fear. Are you hearing me? Live in your fear, right? Do not let your fear grapple you and hold you down and keep you in a stagnant place, right? Live in it, embrace it. Right, because it, it's, it's a common emotion. If we didn't have fear, if we didn't have love, if we didn't have joy, you know, we wouldn't be considered human beings. Okay, so those particular fears, those particular emotions, right, are a part of who you are, right? That's part of who God made you to be, right? I'm sorry, my phone is going off. Uh, it, it's who God made you uh, to be. So use those particular things to help get you to uh, the next level. Now, going back to the social media sites, uh, of course, some of them are different, you know, like the, the Instagram is, is a different world for me. It's a whole other universe, but I'm getting used to it. I, I won't let fear keep me in a place of stagnation um, because there are people that I want to reach. We're not just selling products, right? We are selling, you know, um, a, a way of life right? And we know that this stuff works and, and we want to share it uh, with other people. Uh, and, and being creative about how we share it with, with other people is the, the one of our, going to be one of our main benefactors in how we uh, 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 glow up, if I can use that term. So I've been reading a book Right, and it's called uh, Uncloned Marketing. It's it's by uh, Andrea uh, Richmond. Right, if you if you see it, you know, pick it up. It, it's really good. And and I want to um, I want to read uh, a, a paragraph that like really stood out uh, for me. Right, and and um, I, I want y'all to just you know just don't worry about it if I mess up or, or whatever because my brain is going a million miles an hour right now. So, uh, okay, so it says. One of the paragraph begins, uh, people will tell you that you're crazy They would, uh, and, and your ideas are, are too wild and they'll never work, uh, that you should just play it safe and stay in your little box and do it the way that it's always been done. And, uh, and when that happens, which it will, uh, know that that's not a sign that you're doing something wrong. It's actually a sign that you're doing something right. So turn up the heat and remember, you will always be too much for people who are not doing enough. That is a really, really powerful, powerful point, right? You are always going to be uh, too much for people who are not doing enough, right? And, and, and we try to keep that away from, you know, our, our particular community and the culture that we've created and stuff like that. When people are, 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 are doing great in, in this business, celebrate them. Right. I don't care how small the mile marker is, celebrate them, right? Because you celebrating them is going to motivate you to get to the next level. Uh, it, it, uh, you know, oftentimes that we feel like we're not, um, we're not doing enough or we're not getting uh, recognized um, enough. Listen, your time will come. There is a slot in, in, in the uh, time space continuum for you, <laughs> okay? Uh, there is a slot there for you. And, and, and when you get that slot, you have to be prepared uh, to capitalize on those particular moments, right? So don't uh, uh, get dismayed if you're not getting enough uh, uh, attention. If you're not getting the sales that you want, hook up with some people that are actually moving the waters, okay? And talk to them and get in their inbox and, and find out what they're doing different. And don't copy the way that they're doing it, but add on to it. Right, uh, you have to kind to have to kind of reimagine uh, the way that uh, the base is given to you. 
That's the way you succeed, right? That's the way you put your own brand on who you are, right? Because uh, we are not just uh, Lavelle, right? We are not just Thrive. Right, we are mothers. We are fathers. Uh, we're caregivers. We're makeup artists. Uh, uh, we we do a whole plethora of things, and people want to see that. Right, I, I always say, uh, "What's for you is for you." The people that are connected to you are, are there for you. One of the, the biggest things that I took away from that mindset Zoom, right, was creating the space, creating the space to receive abundance. Man, if you don't get that, <laughs> if you don't get that, you done missed the whole thing. Creating the space to receive abundance, right? So it doesn't matter what your tracker looks like, right? It doesn't matter um, uh, if you're not making the, the 4K or the, or the 12K or the 40, or 40K or 80K, you're going to get there. But the preparation in between those times, right? Are you creating space for who you want to uh, be on your, your your team, right? So you have to be the um, the, the 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 leader uh, and the lead creator in whom you want to lead when it comes time to do that thing, right? So that's the the biggest thing, and 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 being creative goes into uh, uh, being you, right? And, and and being consistent in the things that you do. Listen. I know that it is taxing to get up an hour early. Listen, I, I, my wife gets up at five o'clock in the morning. I get up at four o'clock in the morning so I can do some RCMs, right? Because I'm a mechanic. And, and even though the, the, the time spans that, that, um, that I actually work at work, I can stop and break any time that I want to uh, and stuff like that. There's still a quota and there's still a demand and there's still people who are depending on me to get the job done, right? So I can't be like doing um, a Thrive all the time, but I get up early and I create pockets in my day. Right, I create pockets in my day to be able to uh, uh, do the things and reach those people that I want uh, to uh, uh, reach and, and, and get the message out. So I post memes and I post funny stuff. I post political stuff. I do lives. I do lives with other people. You know what I'm saying? So people can hear my voice. When they don't see me on Facebook, I know they miss me. I know they do. You know, because they, they, they're like, where Toby at? Like this joker ain't done a live or he, he ain't put up nothing in like uh, two, three days. Uh, where, where this joker at? And I know that the things that I, I, I write are impactful because those same people keep showing up and, and, and reacting to, to my stuff, right? And, and they might not be the people for me that day. They might be, not be the people for me that week. But sooner or later, uh, they're going to get that, that inclination or that push inside of them and say, let me get in my inbox and get a, a little more in depth with this brother and see what he's talking about. Because like he be off the chain. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's the type of impression that you want to leave uh, on, on people. You want to leave some sort of, sort of value with them. You may not believe that you're, uh, you have the, the, the value that you actually have. Right. You, you, you think that you have to be so deep, you know what I'm saying, and read so many books, you know, but everybody can't be Courtney. Right. Everybody can't be Heather. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody can't be Tracy. Right. You have your own particular niche in this market that is a specifically etched out for you and your character and your personnel. Right. Authenticity is the best way to go and being consistent in that is the way because people sometimes people won't join you they won't join you because you're not consistent enough and, and you're wondering why your business is slowing down hello let me get a drink real quick you're wondering why your, your business is slowing down and or not taking off the way that you like for it uh to take off right some people have to see a certain level of success to respect you right some people are just going to come to you just because they like you because you got a pretty face or you got a nice voice or you can speak, speak real eloquently. I heard a couple of ladies say uh, uh, this weekend how Courtney's voice was soothing. <laughs> Listen, it's kind of weird, but whatever, whatever floats your boat. OK, so those, those things about you are marketable and they are absolutely valuable. 
your life experience is it's it's it, it's it's valuable right i don't care how old you are nobody has gone through and, and experienced the things that you've experienced in your life and can be able to uh, uh be triumphant in those particular moments of failure and then be able to project it to somebody as positivity you hear what i'm saying that is not a, a, a easy gift to acquire right so when you're able to to do that uh, um you give yourself value and so when you look in the mirror in the morning, see value. When you speak, see value, right? When, you, when, you, when you're going through whatever you're going through in your life, don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't quit. Stay consistent. Because I'm telling you, the value in your consistency will come in the hard times. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is going to come in the hard times right people are going to to you know see well you know especially people that that really know you well he ain't you know uh got that new car like he said he was going to get a year ago right he ain't went on no vacations uh like he said he was going to a year ago but guess what baby i'm still here right i'm still here and i'm still grinding um the the tidwells are one of my favorite families in in our little community right and and um um i think her name is is it quita is it what what's her name anybody know her name it's drea drea okay she she four years guys are you hearing what i'm saying four years to hit 200K. And when she did, she collapsed and cried like nobody's business. You wanna know why? Because every moment that she was there, every moment that she was in the fight, every moment that she was disappointed, every time she didn't hit 40K or 80K or 200K, she kept going. Consistency. People love that. You know, you know what I'm saying? And, and we are here for uh, the people. Yeah, the when, when we get those checks, that's good. You know what I'm saying? We get to help our families and we get to live a little bit better. That's fine. When we go, go on trips, okay, that's fine. It helps our mind, help our psyche. You know, when we get that that new car, we might have needed that car. We might have needed that, car, uh, that, that second car or whatever the case may be. And to have the ability, right, to be able to, to fashion that car or that truck however we want it to, it's just icing on the cake. But the real icing on the cake comes from when you see that mother that, uh, that got five kids or something like that and, and talking about she's always tired and she got to go to work and she's working double shifts and her husband just lost her job, but she still feels good about life because of the product. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? Man, this is good stuff, right? This, she she's she's moving and she's she's out of the house and, and she's doing stuff and she feels good about her life and you help to accomplish that, right? You help to accomplish that. And, and the, that, that is the, the biggest inspirational thing about uh, everything that we're doing right now. The, all the, the, the learning and reading the books. Listen, I didn't hardly read books at all. I probably read a half a book, <laughs> you know, a year. You know what I mean? But since I started this, I feel like I need to be prepared for people to actually receive what I have to say. So to do that, I have to be proficient in what I know. Hello, somebody. I have to be proficient in what I know. So I went from reading uh, half a book a year to last year, I read 15 books. I'm on my fifth book right now. And it's just March. Are you serious right now? Right? Because I want to be able. I want to be capable. I have to be in a position. I prep myself to help the next person. I prep myself to help the next person, right? If you don't take anything else away from this Zoom, take that away, right? Prep yourself to help the next person succeed. Help that mother with, with, with two jobs and five kids. Right, help that brother that's working two, three jobs to 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 feed his family, barely making ends meet. Right, uh, uh, help that 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 person who doesn't that wants to lose weight but doesn't have the uh, uh, nutritional IQ, you know, to actually you know get past the the first five or ten pounds, or they don't know how to work out, right, or they don't know how to conduct the business, 
right? And by you being consistent in that and they hearing it, they're hearing it over and over and over again from you, then guess who they're going to gravitate to? They're going to gravitate to you. And so you have to be prepared uh, for them, right? So uh, be authentic in the way that you present yourself, okay? Uh, be consistent in when nobody's uh, watching, right? I, I was thinking when I was doing this live, um, I didn't used to be a suits and tie type of guy, you know, about 10 years ago. You know what I mean? And so, but I would see people and I would see uh, men at church and boy, them jokers be looking dapper. You know what I mean? They got the tie, the, the suit go together well. And so I, you know, I was a jeans guy, you know, I'm, I'm from the hood. You know what I'm saying? So I wear jeans, I wear a shirt, you know, I might wear a little skull cap or whatever. That's what I was used to, you know, but when you get around a certain people, it kind of changes your perception, right? It, it brings you to another level, right? Of expectation for yourself just by seeing them. Right. So I got with some of these old heads. Right. And I said, hey, man, man, you look good. Bro. Why don't you like come, you know, to the um, to the uh, to the soup shop and and help me out. And so they started telling me, you know, about, you know, how the, the, the colors and, and, and the fabrics and, and the shoes and, and stuff like that. And, and how a tie can make the whole look right. How to how to how the shoes could be like, you know, set the whole line. Right. But there was one thing that stood out to me like the most with that. And it was like the, the little cufflinks. Right. You get some really nice cufflinks or, or whatever the case. And people might appreciate the suit, the colors, the tie, the shoes. Or when you extend yourself a little bit and they see them cuffs, they'd be like, oh, oh, that's that's sharp. That's sharp right there. And, and, and that's a lesson in itself. Right. You. Uh, might be a diamond uh, that's that's covered up or uh, a cufflink that's covered up by the sleeve. But when you extend yourself and you get exposed and people are going to be like, oh, that's beautiful. That's, that's nice. That's nice. Where did you get that? You understand what I'm saying? So you don't always have to be out in, in front. You don't always have to be the, uh, the, the, the spotlighted kid with the, the tie and the suit and the colors flowing and the line straight. But when people see you extend yourself and they see that cuff link and it bling, baby, you just stole the whole show. You just stole the whole show. You understand what I'm telling you? I mean, so this is the mindset that we want to be in uh, uh, when we are going forth within this business, right? Uh, uh, within this community, within this uh, culture that we have. You know, a lot of us have a little different teams and we have uh, um, ch little chats here and, and, and chats there. And we have specific chats for our own team or the people that are uh, connected to us and stuff. And so we, we're in there and we're trying to motivate and we're trying to uh, in inspire them. Keep doing that, right? Even if they don't respond, right? Keep doing that. Because the only thing uh, you're doing is practicing for the people who actually want to hear your voice, who actually want you uh, uh, to pour into them, right? Consistency is, is, is let, let that be your guide. Being authentic, let it be your guide, right? And prepare yourself to receive those people in abundance. Prepare yourself to pre receive those people in abundance that are connected to you. You just haven't found them yet. You just haven't found them yet, okay? So stay encouraged, guys. Um, stay prepared, ever learning. You know, learners are, are earners. So be prepared for the people that you want to come into your business. Don't lay down just because you're not hitting the numbers. Just, just don't lay down because you get discouraged when you, I was just looking at my, my stuff a um, uh, um, few minutes ago. And I was like, man, I'd be, I be so close. I'd be so close, but guess what? I ain't gonna quit. Still here, right? Because there's, there's something of value that this company has projected to the world that you are a part of, right? So in your chats, we have like Thrive Army and, 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 and Thrive Army leaders, and they've created a whole culture. So until you create that culture yourself, create a subculture that is suited for the time that you're in. And don't be discouraged by the time that you're in, 
right? Because your day is coming absolutely. You just got to believe it, right? And you got to do the work. You got to do the work. So that's my spiel, guys. I love y'all. Thank you so much for that. That was so good. I don't know about y'all, but I started tearing up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I was like over here with little chill bumps going on. Um, that was so good. And I appreciate you taking the time out and just speaking to us and inspiring us. Because I know for one, I'm like super inspired. Um, and I just want to close out with um, everything you said was absolute gold. And even going back to um, Courtney and I even talked last week about how you know, it's not always the sales. A lot of times it's about making an impact. You know, that's, we talk about it all the time, about making an impact. And when you're putting out good content and, you know, it's things that people are learning from. And then let's say that person isn't going to become a customer, but they share your post. And then, you know, the person, they come and follow you and they click on your page and they see all this value. They see what you're sharing. They see, okay, well, I could literally learn from this person. And it's not all about Throb. It's about creating your space. Um, and that is where your fives list, list is going to come in huge because that's going to tell you your niche. That's going to tell you who to talk to because I can't relate to everyone that Toby can relate to. I can't relate to everyone that Courtney can relate to. I have not had those same experiences, but on the same hand, they can't relate to some of the people that I can because they haven't had some of my experiences. So I feel like just this whole Zoom together with mindset, I mean, this like gets me fired up and like makes me want to go and like, I don't know, change the world or something. It makes you want to put on a cape and like go change lives. And if you don't get that from these Zooms, like I want to know why, because for me, this is, I mean, just purpose and value and inspiration. And I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so, so much for taking time out of your night to get on. And next Monday, we will have another amazing Zoom coming after Mindset. You guys go enjoy the rest of your Monday and I will see you next Monday. Bye.